Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boot Shopping with Ultra Football. I'm Costa and I'm joined today by Jai Ingham. Jai, welcome to Ultra Football. How are you feeling for today, man? Oh, I'm keen, bro. You know, I haven't really experienced Mizuno boots before, but um, yeah, I'm keen to have a look at them. Awesome, we're gonna go check out the new boots right now. Let's go. Uh, welcome to Ultra Football. You yeah. been to the shop before? I have. I'm um, picking up a bit of academy gear and stuff like that in the team wear, but yeah, look at the shop, it's unbelievable. Now, post football career, you're starting the Ingham Academy. Can you explain a little bit about that? Um, look, it's just sort of a. I want to sort of give back to, to what I've um, done as a footballer internationally and domestically, so um, any way I can help these kids accelerate, you know, I, I do want to do. So, um, with all the junior talent there is these days, uh, you know, it's a huge market and you know, I'm there to step in and, and help where I can. Definitely awesome. So you've taken up a new role at Melbourne City now this year as Mini Roos Technical Director. Is that a new challenge that you were expecting to maybe take post football or something you're looking forward to at the beginning now? Look, no, it wasn't, but it just arised and, you know, I just sort of, you know, took it on and thought, why not? It's a, it's a new role and I'm excited and, you know, to, to have how many juniors we do have at the club, it's yeah. going to be exciting times. Awesome. It's an exciting challenge and exciting chapter for you too, post football. Now, we're here in front of the Adidas ball section. We've got the Women's World Cup ball. How important, obviously yourself having a New Zealand background, representing New Zealand on the international stage, how important is a massive World Cup tournament for the Women's uh, World Cup that we're going to have in Australia and both in New Zealand, for football in general within the two countries? Oh, look, it's massive. Um, you know, you look at the stadiums and stuff here in Australia and in New Zealand, they are um, top quality. Um, so the women are going to get the best of that, yeah. like we've just seen at the World Cup. But um, no, look, it's huge, especially for, you know, the the Australian women's team, they're unbelievable, so they should do very, very well, and New Zealand, I um, have high hopes for them as well. Joe, you made your name on the Melbourne Victory stage. We're gonna to go to the back of the store to look at the Melbourne Victory section, and while we're there, I'm gonna ask you a few questions about your favorite moments at Victory and some of the great players that you played with as well. Let's head down. Now, Jai, you obviously joined Melbourne Victory post Hume City, playing that famous FFA Cup game against Melbourne Victory. What was that transition like from Hume at the NPL level to then playing in the A-League with Melbourne Victory? Oh, look, it was a difficult one. Um, after, you know, playing the FFA Cup game, it was actually off-season, and I went to Thailand, and, and Muskie called me before and said, oh, can you come down and trial? I was like, oh, I'm about to go to Thailand. I'm like, what, are, what do I do? <laughs> anyway, so he, um, he's like, all right, just come back. When you come back, just give me a bell. And, you know, I come back from Thailand and then went in and trialled for a week and made the cut, so yeah, it was buzzing. So you played with some unbelievable players there, Bursa Barisha, Fahid Ben Kalfala, Archie Thompson. Who were some of those players, especially in your position, playing in attack, that you sort of looked at at that time, joining victory, to sort of, you know, get lean a shoulder on or ask for advice? Um, look, probably all of them, man. Like Costa, Bess, like they're all big dogs at the time. And look, you know, I just... I wouldn't really ask them information, I would more just watch them. Like, because you know, as soon as you caught what they sort of did, um, you could sort of implement it on your own on your own terms and in yeah. your own way as well. And you know, they were unbelievable players, so it was good to learn of them. Yeah, you mentioned Musk gave you that phone call. What was Kevin Musk like as, as a manager? We know how what he was like as a player, so tough yeah, and yeah. ruthless. What yeah. about as a gaffer? Oh look, he was the best man. He was um, one of a kind and, and a top gaffer who's just worked on the details and everything so it was, it was a top time at the, when I was there and I enjoyed myself and he made me grow not just as a footballer but as a person as well. So. Now we mentioned the likes that you've played with, Archie Thompson is one of those MLV Victory fans, absolutely adore. What were you like as we see a signed picture framed by him, he made that corner flag frame, famous with that celebration. Yeah. What was Archie Thompson like to play with and even just the character that we all know he is off and on the pitch? Yeah bro, like honestly there's no other character like him to be honest, he is um, one of the funniest guys in the change room, I remember when I first turned up and I was talking to one of the boys there and he was sort of like, oh Jason, who's your mate? And I was like, oh no, like everyone just stared at me on my first day, so it was so, yeah, like, yeah. like just like calling me out, so it was a bit awkward, but you know, after that he was, um, he was top notch, man, he was awesome. so welcoming, just a, a top guy. Now Joe, we know why we're here, here at Ultra Football, we're going to take a look at the new Mizuno boots, he played with the likes of Keske Honda, who is almost the face of Mizuno's, we're going to take a look at the boots now, how are you feeling, looking excited for them? Yeah, look, buzzing man, I can't wait, it's, um, you know, Keske was hugely influenced by, by Mizuno and he created his own colour, so I can't wait to see the colourway. Awesome, let's go have a look.
Now, Jai, we're in the Mizuno room, and in my hand, I've got the new Mizuno Alphas, premium lightweight. They are unbelievable. And for someone like you, who is a winger, super fast on your feet, I want to pass these to you. Yeah, let's Tell go. Tell me what your thoughts Thank you. are. Um, look, these are awesome, man. Like, look at the colorway on them. Super, super lightweight. Um, perfect for wingers, strikers, um, sort of the speed players. Um, but man, wow. I mean, what a colorway. Yeah, super excited. The blue is so bright and vibrant, and the gold as well. And the class, class of a bronze. bronze yeah, yeah, sort of yeah, gold. exactly. They're a low cut as well, which I do like. Um, so I can't wait to try them out. So, Jai, as we mentioned, these new Mizunos have got the new Mizuno Energy Foam technology, which super lightweight makes it very fast and agile on your feet. Now, you as a winger and attacking sort of player, what sort of things and features do you look for in a boot? You know, all footballers in a mind frame when they have a speed boot on, they instantly feel faster. It's just yeah, a, yeah. A, a mental thing, but you know, for all wingers and strikers, this is probably the perfect boot, um, just because of the lightweight of it. Um, compared to wearing maybe a leather boot or something which is a bit more for midfielders but you know for wingers and strikers this is the perfect boot. Definitely. Now if you could make your own colourway, as you mentioned Kesuke Honda was famous for making his own Mizuno colourways, what yeah. colourway of your own Mizuno boot would you make? Oh, to be honest like this is this is fire to be honest, I like this but you know I'm a, I'm a sucker for white boots so yeah. if, it, if yeah, it's yeah. a triple white you know yeah. they're me, triple they're me. White. Do you clean them yourself? Yeah, clean them myself. <laughs> clean them <laughs> Love it. Now Joe, you've got the boots in hand but we don't want them in hand. Put them on your feet, we're gonna test them on the pitch, and we might even create a little challenge between us two, see so you can hit the target the most. Perfect, let's, let's go test it, it out. Ha. Oh, you put the boots to the test. How do you feel? Yeah, they're good, man. They're unbelievable. The the, the weight of them, um, the way you can feel the ball in your shots and, and, and dribbling with it, it's unbelievable. Perfect. So, now, Joe, I'm going to propose a little challenge. Me versus you, top bins challenge. I'm undefeated. Me you versus ready? you. You ready for the test? <laughs> Joe, rock, paper, scissors, you go first. I'm going to go rock. Right. Rock, paper, scissors. What was that? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were going so quick. All right, oh, let's sorry. go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, <laughs> Joe's up first. Let's go. No pressure. Oh, no way, I didn't want to the first shot. Hey, that had swaz on it too. Absolute swaz That had swaz. Absolute am I, am I taking swaz. a shot? Joe, are you ready? Yeah, just don't, just don't dribble it across the floor. I'll go for, for precision. <laughs> oh. oh. Nah, it was good. That's the one that's gonna hit. <laughs> Cut that out, hurry, okay? Joe, you hit it, I'll show you your coffee. Oh. Joe, just so you know, Little bit higher. I drink oat latte. Okay, oat latte. I'll Whoever take it. wins, the other person shouts a coffee. All right, go okay. on. Then. I'm oat latte. Nah, see that's boring like that. You got to knock it in properly. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I don't want to go for power. My hips are sore. <laughs> Shakira lied, Jai. Hips do lie. I mean, I trained for four hours last night, so my hips are a bit sore. So. Okay, oh, he's not happy God. now. Now he's not happy. Now I think I've just woken up the beast. Now I'm a little bit scared. Oh, no, what? You're, Jai, you're lucky there's no wind here. If there's wind here, that's in. Well, I got closest, just so we establish that. Okay, so he got closest, but I'm gonna hit it. Let's go, guys. Oh. Oh. There you go, 1v1. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll go closest first. <laughs> Jai, well done, congratulations, you win. Thanks for jumping on. Thanks for checking out the Mizuno Alphas, and thank you for coming into Ultra Football. Jai, it's been a pleasure to have you on the first ever episode of Boot shopping with Ultra Football. Make sure to check out Jai Ingham. Check out the Ingham Academy as well. Jai, thanks very much. Thank you very so much. Take care.